all right guys welcome back now let's get right into it now again guys the reason we do patents is to avoid us the headaches and um, the cost that it's gonna basically cost us when we bring a product we try to sell it and then we find out that it's patented and most of all the fines associated with being sued for uh, basically selling copyrighted products right it's it's in a sense as piracy right so that's why we want to avoid that we want to and especially if you're a new seller it can there can be nothing more demotivating than getting your product um uh, getting your product flagged for patents and copyright and stuff like that and really it can really really jeopardize your business now a lot of people who have built a portfolio of products right they can survive this they can you know what they say okay this product is not selling I have I'm making money with my other 10 other products that I'm selling or five what have you but if this is your only product and in your you're a newbie right this is it guys like it's game over for you guys so that's what we try to do is I encourage you guys to please please follow these steps watch this video till the end make sure you follow every single step and I'm gonna show you guys three best ways to do this but the first two are free and you can do it yourself and the third way is a cost associated with it but I highly recommend it so let's get started guys so the first thing we want to do is find a product on Amazon so let's I've loaded up a product and this is one of my favorite products like it's really cool at nighttime a lot of people use it and it's it's something that looks like an invention so if you want to know what kind of products to look for when you're actually thinking of patents and to avoid patents is to avoid products that look like an invention so this one looks like an invention somebody actually thought about putting lights in gloves because um, it's, it, it's just like a cool sign uh, or sorry a technological pieces like along the lines of you know like GoPros and um, people riding bikes at night or things like that right so it's it looks like an invention and that's why we want to check to make sure um, it's patented or not so that if we're gonna sell or get into this kind of product that we know ahead of time so um, what we're gonna do is when you find your product go for the broadest key term so if this is flashlight right this is a flashlight glove so it looks like in the title here um, this is a company name so thanks Tom's uh, we we are gonna we are also gonna run a, a search on the company name as well but flashlight gloves that's the main keyword search and that's what we want to run uh, our patent search on so it's the broadest key term and we want to make sure it's not there so flashlight gloves so what we're gonna do the first easy way to do this is to go to Google patents okay when you go to Google patents type in flashlight love sorry guys I think my baby just woke up um, we put her to bed early so um, anyway so let's continue my wife is there she's taking care of her uh, so flashlight glove and when you type this search in the patents let's see what comes up so you'll see there are variations of this here right um, let's take a look at one of these just so we can see the drawings to see if it looks similar or not it'll pick up anything in that category flashlight glove or glove or what have you that has a flashlight so you'll see that this guy has installed lights on the um, basically like the top part of the glove not like nothing to do with the fingers or anything so it's still very close so that's why it's, star it's starting to make me think that this item could be patented and I want to avoid it um, it's when you see similar items right so look at this this one has lights on the finger and this one as well so okay it looks like this product is patented you see guys like when you see something similar and they will have images and drawings for you guys to really know now Google patents is a very very easy tool to use like you just go to Google Pat Google and type in Google patents the website will load up or the search engine will load up and you guys just type in your stuff and see what comes up so over here on Google patents we've confirmed that this item could be patented okay so my that's my first red flag let's do another search so another website that I use especially for products that I'm selling in the United States because I know a lot of you guys are in the US is the USPTO.gov okay so it's basically United States patent and trademark office 
So we want to also search that because a lot of times I know that even Canadian sellers are selling in the US market and that's why I'm showing you guys. There are equivalent websites, um, which is the um, Canada.gc.ca, which is the government website that is very similar. You can search for patents, you can search for business names and all kinds of like that. So what we want to do is check here too to see if there are similar patents uh, like the product we were searching again. So it's the flashlight glove. So we are going to go to trademarks and then we're going to be searching trademarks. OK, so let's go there first. And then you're going to go here, search trademark database. So you're going to go uh, click on this link right here that they have trademark electronic search. All right. So you're going to be loaded up to this page now. From here, you're going to do a basic word mark search, okay? You click on that, and you're going to enter your keyword, which is, again, the broadest keyword possible because you don't want to emit any, or sorry, omit any uh, results, right? So that's why we go broad keyword search. So we're going to do flash light uh, glove, okay? Combined work, all search, okay? So let's submit query and see what comes up. So no, uh, no records were found. So which means that, okay, there is hope still for this product. But now the second thing I wanna do is I wanna run a patent search on the company because that's another important thing. Now, the company name is Thanks Toms, okay? So let's just copy that. And I'm gonna search that to see if anything exists under the company name because sometimes they do it under company name and depending on how they have entered it. So. Uh, again, you're going to leave live ended, which means the patent has ended or is still alive. So let's do. OK, there it is, guys. So thanks, Tom's and these products buy them with a serial number. Um, they are patented. You see that um, 8819475. So when we're actually looking at this product, let's see if they have the product. Let me just take a look at more details if they have the product number. So that's the ASIN number. Let's do a quick ASIN search as well, just to see if that pops up anything. Uh, but okay, I don't have the product. Um, where was it? Uh, the serial number. Okay, so it's a flag for me. You see guys that uh, some of their products or most of their products are patented. They have five patents. One of them is dead, which means it's no, or four items. One of them is dead, which means that it's no longer patented, but uh, or uh, no longer um, in circulation in the market, but we always want to check. So let's check with this ASIN number, see anything comes up, no. Nope. So again, guys, this buyer or this seller is actually has patents there. So um, all, already I'm 90%, 90, 95% out of this product. I don't want to do it because these are flags for me. Now, the third way that you can do, and I recommend if you guys are unsure that you get into this is uh, go to Fiverr, right? Just like we search for product photographers, um, translators, and stuff like that on Fiverr. There are all kinds of freelancers there. So there are like lawyer types or legal um, uh, people who are in the legal uh, in the legal field that can check these things for you. And they provide the service from ten to thirty dollars a piece. So they will get back to you within uh, a day. It usually takes them no more than that. Sometimes maybe forty eight hours. Like when I do my patent search with them, like. I get them, I, you know what I tell them, yeah, take your time, dig deeper, make sure there's nothing. Now I pay about $35 um, to check for those things, but I mean, there are people who do it for $10. So um, that is absolutely your final, final way to check and to really make sure if it's a product that you really, you see there's a lot of profitability in it and the numbers look good and everything. And the final thing is to do a patent search. I highly recommend that you follow all these three steps because you want to be 100% going in. Last thing you want is that your sales are doing amazing. And I've had friends who have been um, a victim to this, that their sales were doing amazing. They're doing like hundreds of units every week. And then what happens is they get a letter that they're getting sued by the patent holder because they did not follow um, their proper product research into patents. That's why we do it, guys. Product research is so important. Every aspect of it that I've shown you guys in the past, which is from reviews to your listing, to the price, to the revenue, um, seasonality uh, that I did my last video. And so, guys, it's really important that you check every single thing um, that uh, you see because 
at the end of the day, we're doing this to make money. And we want to make sure that there's nothing that hinders us from our business, from the success of our business, and that there's nothing standing in the way. So I highly recommend this. Follow all three steps. Do Google patents. Do the... Um, I almost forgot the name of the website. Oh, my God. My memory is bad. Okay, do the United States Patent Trademark Office search, uh, their website, USPTO. Uh, do that search as well. And if you're in Canada and you're selling in Canada, do it on your government website as well. Search that item. Make sure that it's not patented um, and make sure you're clear from the get-go. That's it, guys. I hope you guys learned something valuable today. I really appreciate your viewership and your comments. If you're new to this channel, subscribe below and give this video a thumbs up and drop a comment below. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. And that's it, guys. That's why I do it. I do it to make sure you guys save time and not make the mistakes that I have made and my friends have made. And I've seen a lot of my mentors make uh, down the years. So that's it. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.